Well, Happy New Year to everyone and each of you who's watching this video right now. No matter what, are you a subscriber of our channel or you're some random traveler on YouTube who's just trying to spend the time looking for the cool games. And we're wishing you all the best in this year. Be healthy, be wealthy, and may it be the best year for you. Because it's definitely one of the best years for gaming industry for sure. Well, we have a sometime traveler who told us so, and we tend to believe it because there is so many releases and if you don't want to miss any of them please press the subscribe button press the notification button and comment what do you want to see from us and what do you expect from this year but to begin the year we want to bring you the review that a lot of you've been asking for and is the game called 20 minutes still down well because it's been coming this month actually december to be exact sure in 2022 and it has something really interesting about it so let's talk about it First of all, when you speak about the 20 minutes till down, you need to understand that it's coming up as the game that is inspired by the one game that was released in the late 2021, called One Power Surveyors. That is a top-down kind of shooter where you don't actually shoot, more like the automatically shooting happening for you, but you need to stay away from the hearts of the zombies. Initially, it was launched as an early access, but then it released and it literally destroyed full, full Steam library. Because the popularity of this game was amazing. A lot of people tried to copy this game, a lot of developers created a lot of top down kind of shooters like this. But one game especially catched a lot of attention. It is called 20 Minutes Still Down, which is the main guest in today's video. There is few cool things about this game. First of all, it is not going to be only a PC game, it is actually coming to mobiles too. And you already find it on the pre-ordered buttons on the App Store. Because for some reason, I feel like it's still not out in the Europe. But you can play it already on PC. And there is a lot to talk about it. Druids removes of the sum build of Phil Aspect. It's more like a gunplay component of the early 20 minutes till down run. Do you need to just fast reload or would you just feel the bullet damage? Maybe the squad is better for you to double barrel shotgun. Or you'd rather argument the damage with an eventual event. Or free go with the kind of Simon based build. There is a lot of options what you can do in this game. Options that are easy to read and have find plenty of tree of base upgrade for two tire options. And there is a lot of final brilliant in together. These choices become crucial fast paced part until counting down. The survival aspect of 20 minutes till down can get brutal, especially considering hits are incredibly damageable for some characters that the start will only one or two hearts. Well, this is really important to mention that you have different kind of characters that you can choose from here. And from the games like this, from the top down perspective, there is not always kind of an option to choose different characters. Well, 20 minutes till down bringing that. There is also one big aspect that people really love here, is the bosses. There is a lot of boss enemies in 20 minutes till down that are full on encounters. Many will have their own attack patterns and the problems to deal with, like for example gladly encausing the arena or massive lasers. It's add on a bit of lethality to the big fights and feels like a bit more than just a number of check. The progression system here works incredibly well too, offering tired upgrade to the sword, for example, offense and the shield that will be your defensive paradigm. Seriously, I can't kind of tell you why you should not take the holy shield blessing. It's so useful. It's one of the taste things that for some reason now is very overpowered in the game. So here is your first tip if you're trying to play this game. There is a lot of reasons to keep playing and mostly to gather resources, to unlock more characters, weapons and more runes. When you finish your first run, you will feel really very great. It was one of the perfect meeting where you kind of do the supremely powerful and momentum dimensions down. The idea in the game is basically that you need to survive for the 20 minutes and it will be really kind of experience that will, well, always feel like something new. For some reason, I can tell you if the game can be played, for example, like everyday basis for 5-6 hours, but for sure it's a game that can be played, let's say, after the work or after, well, some kind of fun day where you just want to chill. The first make or break through was the graphical style of the game. You absolutely dig into the look of the month 20 minutes still down, and it's almost monochromic feels to the kind of retro and moody. It also has to be nice kind of touch, adding some danger fear to the edges of the screen that you can eye slowly crippling with the kind of enemies are revealed. That is said, I want to kind of tell you the things that kind of concern me. It's a difficult to read on the screen. 
maybe for some additional color options or for example brighter contrast. It could help the regards. Building diversity is also a concern to the small start with a lot of different options. You feel like a lot of funneling back into the similar pixel, for example. I feel like the 